Uh, there's a guy you wrestled when you were a baby face a lot that I guess also lived down in Florida, the Warlord. Yeah, big, strong guy. So he kind of, he kind of came into that era where Vince was really going for the muscle-bound guys, and he was definitely one of them. Nice guy, and uh, he's still in Florida. I think Fort Lauderdale somewhere. Great guy. I had a nickname for Warlord. It was I called him the Boar Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That was my nickname, you know, we're going to be honest, but he wasn't boring, but I just, I, I nicknamed him that, and I got over pretty good with the guys. <laughs> but he, he was a strong guy, didn't take too many bumps, didn't have to, and his matches weren't boring either. That, that was just a nickname, just came to my mind there. Bore Lord. You laugh. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I did. <laughs> Did you have to you change up the way that you work too? Because you've been a heel for so many years, and now all of a sudden you're you're a baby face for this yeah. run, and you're working guys like the Warlord all of a sudden. I mean, how do you change your uh, your mindset going into the matches, or does it change that much? You know what? I was, I think back then. Now I know different, but back then I was trying to be a little bit. You know, I'd look at the crowd and try to get the crowd behind me, but. Looking back at it now, I would have done it differently where I would have just went out and do all the heel stuff I did anyway. You know, you know, stick my hand on his nose and go like that. Just cheap stuff, but it would have got over to see a baby face do it. And um, maybe I tried to be a baby face. Never liked being a baby face, you know. That's, that's not my talent. But as long as I can do all the heel stuff, it's good. With Warlord, you know, it was, you, you could do things like that because here's a big guy and you rake his eyes and, ah, you know, I usually don't like doing that kind of stuff, but he, he could work it that way. He could sell it. And me being a heel turn baby face, it works out, you know? Yeah. Psychology there. This is the same era, too, when WWF was really getting into the movies, too. I guess right. No Holds Barred was going to be the big thing. Right. Actually brought in Zeus, the human wrecking machine. Right. Uh, do you remember anything about him at all? Tiny Lister? Yeah, he just passed away, too, didn't he? Yeah, he did. A year or so ago. Nice guy, you know? Very nice guy. I talked to him and kid around with him all the time. And that's when the No Holds Barred thing... And then they had the movie out. So, yeah, Vince was, Vince has got his name on a lot of different movie projects right now. Some stuff with Halle Berry did some kind of movie. It's got the WWF logo down there. Stuff that I didn't even know about. But they got an office in California, too, by the way. So. Is that right? Yeah, because of the treasure show, all these girls and people that worked and, and the interviewers and stuff when I did that. A and E thing, they all lived in Los Angeles, so they got a big presence there right now, instead of just Connecticut. But they're always flying back to Connecticut too for something or other. But it's good. It's good. So they're so like you said, they're doing the uh Vincent Man steroid trial. I couldn't believe I saw that. Um yesterday on YouTube or Google or whatever. Yeah. And uh, they keep talking about a movie they're going to do with Hogan, with uh, Chris Hemsworth or one of those guys. Um, but they still haven't done it, you know, so I don't know what to hold up. Yeah. It's supposed to be Hogan's. Uh, I've done some interviews for it and uh, with Eric Bischoff and stuff, so they still haven't done it, so I don't know what to hold up. 